Hi, I'm Bobby, and today I want to talk about uh, motion capture animation on a character inside of 3JS. I'm loading up a character model as a FBX, and then a bunch of mocap animation, mocap stands for motion capture, from this website called Mixamo.com by Adobe. Tons of free assets here, like characters and animations for you to play with, and I'm using 3JS's uh, animation system, which I'll talk briefly about. I'm just kind of scratching the surface of what it can do. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm got, I've got my standard scene set up here. With one exception, I'm enabling shadows. Um, I've got a couple of loaders up here. Excuse me, I've got a loader, an FBX loader, which I'll use to load this this character um, real quick to control the character I've set up a key listener so that every time I tap the space bar specifically this is what the code looks like key down if, if the key is a space then play a random clip and I'll get into this in a second we and I'm uh, after setting up the scene and importing the stuff I need, I'm going to grab the character model. The character by itself, without any animation happening, looks like this. Okay, just a T-Bose. Um, I have another character here, an X-Bot. I could load her as well. Um, however, I don't think the animations that I have loaded will work well with her. I think they're custom for each character. Let's, let's have a look, though. Um, yeah, her feet are kind of um, through the floor a little bit, I think. Still pretty cool. Um, after I've loaded the FBX model, which I'm doing right here, I'm saying loader.load and the path is that path to the character put her back on the on y bot after i load that character i'm doing a couple of things to make it fit into my scene just scaling it down a little bit moving it its position and then i'm i'm playing with the material too um, in this case i'll just change the material color to an orange color and change my backdrop to uh, blue like so and um, I, I could also instead of just changing the color I could go get a different material in this case a uh, matcap material which I think looks really cool I happen to have a couple other matcap textures um, let's try silver that's what that looks like close this Oh, doesn't look as cool. Fire Edge Blue. Is that the cool one? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I really enjoy watching that. Watching him get electrocuted. Sorry, buddy. All right. I've loaded the model. I'm adjusting it, applying a different material. Then I create an animation mixer. An animation mixer in 3JS is a way to play, stop, um, merge and blend animation clips. Animation clips are what are created from these things, these different animations. And these are walk cycles, as you can see, floating, uh, jumps, uh, crawling, swimming, or dancing. Um, I'm loading all of those in this method here for each one of those in that array. I'm loading it and pushing it into this animations array. Once that's completed, I'm using this loading manager to in fire the init scene method and passing in my character and my animations. Um, that's the heavy lifting part of this uh, of this one project is to uh, load up those separate files because once they're loaded, all I have to do is uh, create a uh, a floor plane. I'm creating a couple of lights. I this light casts shadows. If I turn it off, it's just a kind of a black bottom there. And a hemisphere light. 
I don't even know if I need that hemisphere light. Does it change the color of the ground? Not really. Because I'm using a matte cap material which doesn't use lights, it doesn't respect lights, the hemisphere light's kind of unnecessary. This is how I'm creating that kind of soft blue background there with this um, get layer. Um, you can see that I can change the background hue, which is kind of weird because he's got a, a blue glow on him, but the background's purple. I guess that's a little bit closer. That's probably the closest. Um, yeah, and then I'm looping. This is my main animation loop here uh, where I'm telling, I'm updating the character and all that, all that update method is doing on the character is just uh, telling the mixer to update. Uh, I mentioned that the animation mixer controls playback. As such, you can slow down the playback. Um, this is kind of like the time step as I understand it. Oh, he's getting electrocuted in slow motion. Uh, the other way to do it is to speed things up, which is gross. Slow it down again. Slow motion electrocution, so cool. Um, I think it's fun to play random clips instead of just cycling through. So I'll, I'll pick a random clip each time. And let's, let's move the playback speed back to something more real time. Ah, that's so fun. I think that's pretty much it. I, I actually didn't mention how I'm blending through the clips. It's really, really simple. Um, every time I uh, hit the space bar, I'm picking a new action at random. And then I'm saying, hey, if that action is not the same as the previous one, then reset it, fade it in, and fade out the previous one. That's pretty much it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming by and checking this out. Leave a comment below, uh, like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this stuff. And yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, bye.